perished. Well, I never! Lost in the snow, and in the wild wood, too, at this time of night. But come in with you. The two animals tumbled over each other in their eagerness to get inside, and heard the door shut behind them with great joy and relief. The badger, who wore a long dressing-gown, and whose slippers were indeed very down at heel, carried a flat candlestick in his paw, and had probably been on his way to bed when their summons sounded. He looked kindly down on them, and patted both their heads. "'This is not the sort of night for small animals to be out,' he said paternally. "'I'm afraid you've been up to some of your pranks again, Ratty. But come along, come into the kitchen.' There's a first-rate fire there, and supper, and everything." He shuffled on in front of them, carrying the light, and they followed him, nudging each other in an anticipating sort of way, down a long